Yeah, our new canning line is made by uh, Comac, uh, Northern Italy, and um, they uh, put it all together for us, engineered it, put it into uh, a bunch of big crates, and put it in a shipping container and shipped it over here. Each crate had different components, um, one being the monoblock, which is the filler and seamer assembly. The other two were uh, uh, full of parts, either conveyors, a depalletizer, um, anything else that just basically made the whole machine go together. Um, and it took us about five days to probably get it erected, basically. So in order to get the depalletizer to even fit in here, they had to build us the first ever low profile depalletizer. So um, it was great because it fits and we can use it, but um, there's no history of the machine. There's no documented photos of it in use anywhere. Uh, it doesn't exist, it's the first one built. So other than some pictures in the factory where they assembled it, we didn't really have anything to go off of as far as um, installation instructions, how to put it together. It's very big and heavy, and uh, that was interesting for a couple days. Um, but yeah, it was a little, a little challenging just uh, trying to open up a box with, you know, hundreds to maybe a thousand parts and just trying to figure out where they all go. Oh, so you've got, um, more weight, you've got less electronic components, you've got less um, less pneumatic components, so you've got more mechanical things, gears, drive shafts, things that don't get hot, things that don't, um, I guess, not necessarily wear out as fast, but don't change over the long run day with uh, temperature, um, which we've had some issues with their old line. Not only runs faster, more than twice the speed, it's got a depalletizer, which means we don't have to manually slide the rows of cans over to feed twist rinser. Um, it is also, in my opinion, more hygienic, um, easier, just easier to keep clean. It's built a little bit more industrial. 